guys William Video Brown here and I have some updates from my lab super stoked doing a little spring cleaning and uh, reorganizing redecorating um, my neighbors uh, attached to this house moved out um, and they were getting rid of this table so I just cleaned it uh, as good as I possibly could brought it up in the lab perfect size and it's allowed me to expand my workspace super stoked about that um, so yeah I got a lot of space to work with now um, I cleared off this table uh, to be my algae culturing area, uh, so I'm going to be starting to culture algae on petri dishes and offer uh, various uh, cultures, mostly spirulina uh, because it's easy to grow. Um, but I'm just going to uh, keep my culture plates here on this little angled, uh, this little angled tray thing, uh, so that they can get more sunlight. And um, here, I'll just turn this down for now. And um, <coughs> Yeah, my spirulina here, and I have one of my little seed cultures here uh, that I keep to uh, recontinue my spirulina cultures, um, and they're also uh, taking care of some of the CO2. So I'm trying to get a few more photobioreactors in here uh, to deal with the CO2 being produced by all of this mushroom spawn. Uh, there's over 100 pounds of mushroom spawn in here right now, um, and there is always over 100 pounds of mushroom spawn in here. Uh, so there's lots of CO2 being produced, and it just helps me uh, when I'm in here uh, if there's a little bit more oxygen. So um, there's a lot of functions for uh, including the microalgae into the home labs here. Um, so I have some cordyceps cultivation going on here. Uh, I found that the cordyceps militaris pins well in indirect sunlight, so I have them uh, in the indirect sunlight. I also have the rest of them uh, over here getting indirect sunlight. Uh, so the cordyceps are growing very, very well. Um, and I'm growing out the fruiting bodies uh, for lots of reasons, uh, one of them being that the fruiting body contains all of the amino acids, uh, so that's a wonderful thing. And the Cordyceps militaris actually contains uh, adenine and ad uh, adenosine, um, and the adenine is actually one of the uh, nucleotide bases, uh, one of the four bases that makes up our DNA. Uh, so this, these are molecules that are utilized in uh, helping us replicate our DNA. Uh, so very, very powerful medicine. Uh, in just incredible at increasing energy, uh, especially with that adenosine. As I mentioned, uh, it's one of the uh, components in the adenosine triphosphate, uh, known as the biological currency or the energy of cells. So uh, the cordyceps is actually really good at creating energy on a cellular level. So we have cordyceps growing um, variantly, uh, and I will be fixing this up here. Um, so we have uh, the cordyceps showing a uh, wide variety of genetic expression uh, because this is a multi-spore culture, this is a wild culture. Actually, uh, cultured from this little uh, moth larvae right there. Um, we found um, my friend uh, Charlie found that uh, out in our local area. So local culture, uh, but multi-spore culture. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these mushrooms once they're mature and they have spores on the top, and I'm going to culture them onto a petri dish, and I'm going to isolate a single spore culture. And what that will do. Um, I'm going to get a few of them, but what that will do is uh, it makes it so each uh, cake that I make, each uh, culture that I expand will produce all of the same mushrooms instead of some that are skinny, some that are fat, like this here. Uh, so that will just be a little bit more uniform uh, for people that are looking for commercial cultures to fruit and for my own sake uh, so that I have a little bit more uniformity in my work. But I do love the diversity and I'm going to continue to grow out this multi-spore strain just because it's so beautiful to have such a natural uh, organism uh, growing where you can see it every day and learn from it. Um, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, they're pinning in a lot of them, um, but the best method so far is the cake method. Uh, so I'm going to stick with that because it allows me to put more material in there, which means I will get more harvest. Um, so. Got lots of mushrooms going, mostly oyster and uh, lion's mane as I prepare to feed lots of people this year. Um, and I got uh, my medicinals going with my uh, reishi mushrooms going over here. Uh, I have some that I'm sending out uh, to Redwood City, I believe, uh, to some friends that are starting up a little um, medicinal mushroom closet. Um, and then I got my little black reishi fruiting over here. Um, this one is finicky. I have not been able to get this to fruit well outside of the bag. Uh, so I'm just letting it chill in the bag. Uh, it's loaded up with these enzymes, as you can see here, um, as it digests the sawdust that it's in. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's not much really to update besides the fact um, that I have a lot more space 
it is a little bit more clean in here now. Um, and I'm super stoked to rock out this year and grow lots of food and mushrooms and teach lots of people and uh, work on decentralizing our economy by introducing lots of regenerative businesses. So I'm going to be teaching people how they can grow spirulina. I'm going to be teaching people how they can grow mushrooms like the cordyceps. I'm going to be teaching people how they can do intensive organic gardening or intensive composting uh, and creating soils and uh, just growing food and producing resources in the community so that we can uh, reduce our reliance on uh, monopolies that are holding our resources so we don't have to go get the things we need from the big corporations uh, the little man like us uh, can produce for ourselves so uh, this is William Padilla Brown I'm 21 years old and I have a little family and I have able to break off of the systems and provide for myself and I will continue uh, to break down these systems until I can provide my own electricity, uh, provide my own gas, and uh, we'll be cleaning our water this year. So uh, taking care of all these things this year, uh, no need to wait, no need to hesitate. Uh, why not do today? Don't put off for tomorrow what can be done today. Uh, so much love uh, to everybody, and I hope that everybody can do some good stuff for their family and for their community.